Hi, this is Yvonne Pran, and I'd like to talk to you today about effective information design for long-form content. This is an introduction to what I know will be a growing and very interesting topic. There was once a day when it was accepted wisdom that people would not read long stories online. That this, the web, was purely the domain of short attention span. But like the notion that people wouldn't pay for digital journalism, that tenet has gone the way of the floppy disk and blockbuster. This quote is from an article in USA Today where Rem Reader talked about how Business Insider has changed from a short form publication on the web to long form and he went into a lot of different things about that but what was interesting as I researched this is not only did this publication do that but also a publication called Medium, one called Matter and my favorite to be perfectly honest is Epic Magazine. Now let me briefly show you these and you can see what is meant by long form. This publication combines both long-term and short-term materials. As you can see, the different articles tell you how long it will take you to read them. 5 minutes, 31 minutes, 4 minutes. What I just showed you was actually the was the science section and now here we have just selection of things from from different topics different areas now let's look at this one here that says do no harm we're going to click on it and you can see it starts out with a rather powerful image and then as you scroll through it you can see it's really easy to read now let's actually jump right away to actually my very favorite in this group and this is epic magazine now i'm not real crazy about the zombies but let me show you some of the other things about it this was started by uh, two guys primarily and this particular person joshua he is the person who wrote the story that became argo and the way they describe their site is uh, what it's a nonfiction site but it's as fun as fiction but full of facts and what they've done is they've taken long-term stories and put them in really a great format let me show you Argo um, as you can see starts out very colorful entry and what's really great about it is how he has combined very easy to read passages along with photographs historical images paperwork passports, photographs, pictures of some of the main people, just really some great stuff. I absolutely love the layout on this. Now what I want you to notice is what makes them work is not only their content but the format. Now here's the big difference. In the past websites with long-term content tended to look like the two I'm going to show you and actually there's still the majority of them on the web are like this. Let me jump to them very quickly. Now I actually picked these two websites not to make fun of them or anything like that. I actually love both of these sites and use them quite a bit when I'm doing research for teaching. But here is the Christian Ethereal Classics website and as you can see here is a wonderful book of Charles Spurgeon's All of Grace. You can go through it, read it, copy, paste, excellent, excellent piece of material, but it's pretty hard to read. Now, another one that I use a lot for when I'm doing teaching in church history is the Catholic Encyclopedia. And once again, incredibly good material, lots of links, but oh my goodness, it is so hard to read. Some of the characteristics of the sites I just showed you include line length from margin to margin, little spacing between the lines, little differentiation in the text. It's all one color, one size of text, no differentiation in most of them between headers, subheads, anything like that. It's very tight, cramped text. Few, if any, pictures and even fewer captions if there are pictures. Now what's interesting when you think about it is basically all of these are adhering to the limitations of print. If you're t on a tight budget, you don't have much money, you cram everything in as much as you can so you don't have to print a lot, you don't use color, you don't make headers bigger, you don't do anything like that. But what makes some of the new long form so interesting is that the new long form realizes the need for the tools of the past. And what's interesting and what I hope to do some more lessons on 
is how um, contrast, legibility, readability, captions and images, all of these things are so important. But what's really exciting about the web is that the new forms take advantage of the almost infinite space available on the web for these tools. Let me jump back to Epic Magazine and I want you to look at it in that way. Imagine how much paper and printing cost this would take if you tried to print it out. But you see what is absolutely fantastic is it doesn't cost any more to do a clear and good layout like this on the web. And though I'm showing it to you on my desktop computer, you can see how easy this would be and again how clear it would be if you saw it on a tablet. And here, of course, we have the pictures of the real people who were rescued when they came home, which is a wonderful way to end. And you see how with the new long form media, we can tell fantastic stories in all their richness. We don't have to be constrained by money and costs and print and color and all of that. We can just tell the story and put it out there, tell it in depth. Be thinking about what you can do in your church and your ministry and don't feel like you have to be constrained anymore to 140 characters or 500 words because people will read it if you put it in a form that works for them.